Welcome back to NGTV Plays, Pillars of Eternity, featuring myself, Spencer, this time alone. Um, I haven't made a video about it yet. I'm not sure that I, I, I will, but no basically, um, Matt's on, away on a, on a trip. So I am doing this entire week myself, so that's fine. Uh, it allows me to do some games. Why are we in sneak form? Can we get out of sneak form? Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple of episodes of this. Oh, what's going on? Four figures stand silhouetted before an otherworldly apparatus, an ancient st structure of chiseled adra and metallic veins, inscrutable and ominous and looming, and looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it in what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. The face of one of the figures is distantly visible. Framed by long tendrils of oily gray hair, tinged dark at the ends, and a thick beard that seems to obscure all trace of emotion. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you have ever seen, and his head is crowned with a strange black headdress, headdress with two protrusions jutting out, on one on either side like the wings of some profane and malevolent creature. Both binder bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath. Full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. There's a lot of interesting uh, meanings here, but it it it, it feels like. The queen that was is their deity of some type, of course. She has a, a group of followers called her Favored. So he, basically they're trying to gain him passage into whatever afterlife that she provides. Uh, life by the Key, I'm assuming, uh, is uh, his life following her, her, uh, her teachings probably pr protecting some kind of ancient area the key there's probably a door for the key and let his life by the key be as be his confession um and his absolution so i'm not sure exactly what that means uh, his death by the key is very interesting um he's he's petrified so i don't know i don't know how he got that way and and why he's petrified and like is that what happens to each of them when they die i don't know may he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book I'm assuming there's some kind of responsibility. I don't know what the book specifically is. Is it actually a book or is it like or is it metaphysically a book? I don't know. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth. And be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Okay. So, I'm guessing that he, he willingly went and became petrified in some way. In some way. He con contributed to some weird ancient practice. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it's ancient. It might not be. It could be new. Um, and then, apparently, he's asking his brothers to do a similar thing. Okay, that's interesting. But why do they need to be? That's interesting. Okay, so they're providing their strength. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet, and the air is still. Then, all at once, it erupts with a concussive surge. Light, bloods your, uh, light floods your vision, and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land, and pain wells into the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black, unconscious void. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The, st the style is ancient, but the chambers unweathered. At the far end of a great pillar of Adra pierces the floor. 
At the far end, a great pillar of Adra pierces the floor from below like a ragged spike. It's shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you have just seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. The work, perhaps, of a prodigious but fevered mind. Your thoughts are yours and not, and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions. Pressing questions, troubling questions, questions that must be answered, or... or... At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick gray beard and ceremonial robe, his oily hair tucked beneath a black cowl and a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You are walking towards him now at a pace that is hurried while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all, and the question spins madly in your mind. Okay. So I'm assuming that they had some kind of experience um in the in, in someone else's mind like a like a dual reality for a moment pro pro probably in the past and now they're all okay and now they're all um like that so that's that's interesting i wonder what the purpose of that was what were they trying to accomplish you awaken to find your malaise has broken only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, but when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntary paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood re replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Of course, he's not the one who gave his life, uh, but the other ones were. Heoden and Kalisha lie bloody on the uneven cobbles, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. You are alone and far from help. Gilded Veil may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. Oh my god, they're, they're dead. Characters earn enough experience to to advance a level. Click the icon on the portrait to level them up. Oh my god. I didn't think they were going to die. <laughs> okay, skills allow your character to perform specialized actions like scouting, detecting traps, picking locks, or reading scrolls. They can also be used to overcome obstacles of conversations and scripted interactions. Um, skills will advance as your characters gain levels, level, but items and other bonuses can also increase skills. Okay. So I have six points. Wow, six points, really. Oh, but there's points to advance, so if I, like, up them, then... Okay, I got you. Okay. Well, playing a druid. What does survival give me? Survival allows characters to make better use of the food. Okay, so plus 10% consumable duration. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Maybe you get more out of the food. Using conversations and scripted interactions to, that involve wilderness challenges or specialization information. Since I'm alone, I will put another point in survival. Mechanics. I don't believe in spreading too thin. Because in games like this, you can always find a, uh, a character that can fill a spot. So I'm going to be putting mostly in my current existing ones. Lore represents a character's accumulated mis miscellaneous knowledge and trivia, often of occult or esoteric topics. Outside of conversations and scripted interactions, lore is used to activate scrolls. Higher lore values allow the, scroll, the, the character to use higher level scrolls. Okay, use two, level 2 scrolls. And I'm doing it one more time. And um, I have two more points, so I'll just make that four. Yeah. Seems to work. Done. Oh, I guess. Exit. No. Oh, there's more. Okay, okay. Um, talents can be used to customize your character beyond your class ability uh, choices. Some talents modify existing abilities, but others add new abilities of their own. A subset of talents are class specific, but most can be taken by characters of any class. Okay, cool. So we have Wild Strike Burn. Um, the Druid's knowledge of the forces of nature allows him or her to automatically inflict additional burn damage when sh spirit shifted. Um, grants wild strike burn passive effects. Um, okay. Plus 30% damage as burn. Hmm. Okay, there's a corrode version, a uh, freeze version, and a shock version. 
So when I'm a, a bear, I can do one of these types of damages. Thinking corrode is probably the most useful. Because you can have resistances against burn, freeze, and shock, but corrode doesn't feel like something people would mostly have. Just in general, um, elemental resistances are probably more common than resistances against corrode. But also, what is corrode good against? There are eight damage types in Pillars of Eternity, Slash, Pierce, Crush, Burn, Shock, Corrode, Freeze, and Raw. Okay. It doesn't tell me exactly what Corrode does. Okay. Okay, so here's just regular ones. Offensive, we have Weapon Focus, Adventurer, um, plus six accuracy. Okay. Weapon Focus, Knife, Knight. Ugh. Okay, so, so Adventurer gives me Poleaxe, Estoc, Flail, Wand, and War Bow. Gaining accuracy with all weapons of those types. Knight gives me uh, Battle Axe, Sword, Morning Star, and Crossbow. Oh, okay. What does Noble give me? Um, dagger, Rapier, Mace, Scepter, and Rod. Peasant, um, Hatchet, Spear, Quarter Staff, Hunting Bow, and Unarmed. Uh, Ruffian, Saber, Stiletto, Club, Pistol, Blunderbuss. Okay. Interesting. And soldier, uh, great sword, pike, warhammer, arbalist, and arquebus. Okay. Then we also have marksman, plus five ac accuracy against distant people, two weapon style, one handed style, and two handed style. Okay, I think I might go for knight. Those are basically items that I en uh, weapons that I enjoy. But I'm first going to check here because, um. I can only choose one. Uh, hold the line. Trains the character in new offensive strategies, increasing his or her engagement limit by one. Okay. Snake's reflexes. Fortitude, bull's will. Basically things that just, each one does a different attribute of some type. And then you have weapon to shield style, which is interesting. Graceful retreat. Utility. Fast runner. Ooh, movement speed would be nice. Scion of flame. Damage reduction. That's cool. Heart of the storm. All right, all right, all right, all right. Interesting. Wound, wound binding. Oh, that's cool. I can heal myself. Ooh, that's useful. Build triage. Uh, I was healing a small amount of health on an ally and then on the user. Okay, so this is personal and then this is ally. Well, I think I might choose Knight. Cool. Done. After leveling a character up, you may want to review their, st their statistics. Open their character sheet to see their attributes, skills, abilities, and talents in greater detail. Okie dokie. It's probably C, like it always is. Okay, cool. I don't have any reputation. I've been in, in combat for 32 minutes. I've defeated 10 enemies. Most powerful enemy I defeated um, Glenn, Fath, and Hunter. Nice. Alright. This is a lot of information. I'm not going to take the time to go through it all. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I should probably... I should probably loot them. <laughs> terrible, ter however terrible it is. Oh my god, so much loot. Okay, so we need the potion. We don't need the beer. We need the lockpicks. Um, yes, all of them. All of them. Um, I think we just grabbed a torch, didn't we? We did. Okay, so we have two torches. We, we have enough torches. Uh, should I get a small shield? I don't really have use of a rapier, but battle axe I can use. Also, that's a mace. It's not really a morning star, though, is it? No. Um, I got the crossbow already. Um, I already have good armor for myself. I'll take the tattered journal. Journal. It's probably good enough. I like how they leveled you right there, because what that does is it, is, is it provides you, especially if if you did what I did, which is gain um, weapon specializations. I know what it is I'm supposed to grab, what I'm not supposed to grab. Um, I'm not grabbing everything because I don't have a lot of room. <laughs> so. Oh wait, is there a weight limit in this game? Let me try. Don't get 
far like this. Don't get far like this. There is a weight limit. Hmm. Oh, do I drop them on the ground? Is that what happened? Where did I put the the extra ones? Huh, I don't know. Weapon sets. My second one was a Zorp spear. How about nope? Maybe I should get myself the shield. Hmm? I want you to look at his stuff. Oh, I saw both their stuff. Where did I put... Oh, does it just like... Do I just toss them? Like, Where did the other items go? Where did, I mean, where did the items go? I don't understand. Got it. I don't. Um. Oh, I have, what is this? I have a stash. Interesting. Okay, let me figure this out. Oh, there they are. Okie dokie. That's nifty. I'm just like, I can just put shit in the stash. Okay. Well, that's nice. Where's the weapons? Pull this out. And then I'll just grab the rest of everything. I mean, if I can just carry everything, why wouldn't I do that? Okay, oh, also, let me switch the... I want it to do... Okay. Give myself a shield. Okay. What? Oh, I'm, I'm remembering things from a previous time. Because I'm currently linked with somebody else. There was I had slow mode on. Go ahead and uh, approach this place, shall we? Whoa. Vessel flesh. Okay, I'm just gonna. Just collecting these people's uh, flesh now. This massive structure is formed of stone, adra, and copper, and covered in strange glyphs. I didn't read it all. Game. The air around it vibrates with unusual energy. Can I, can I walk to? Can I walk inside? Is there? Is there a way that I can? Okay. Is there a way out? Can I? Hmm. Is there somehow a way to go this way? Okay. I would think that I would be able to go somewhere by now. Oh, do I just travel now? I'm in Sealant Liz. Guess I go to Veilwood? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I just travel. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. I think I am, though. No, I don't think I am. Okay, well. I guess I'm traveling. Oh, he works. Okay, so that tells me. Uh, okay. I now know. Might affects all damage and healing done by the character in the fort to defense. It may also be used in conversations and scripted interactions for tests of strength and power. Nice! I just down here. Oh, I'm in the Gilded Vale now. Oh, well, I'm in... Yeah, in the veil. Is that a camp? Oh, yes it is. What's down here? This game looks so good. 
I am remembering things. Can't go without River Reed. Oh, that's interesting. He actually crossed where the uh, the rocks are. Shatter pieces of a crate are strewn across the dirt, along with a few muddy vegetables. Oh, muddy vegetables. So now I can see the dead. Grass is still flattened behind the wagon's wheels. Barrels of cabbages and potatoes. All that good stuff, I guess, is on the ground. I don't know. I'm not going to go back and read it again. Oh, look. What is this? Oh, scroll of Tinglefoot. I have two lore. This is this is good. I don't know why it was red. You'd think it would be green if you had what it required. Oh, there's this guy. What's up? Naunton. Well met, friend. This man appears to be hurriedly dismantling his camp in quick, jerky movements. He looks up as you approach, his expression tense and drawn. Greetings, he says, a little breathless. On your way south, is it? He wipes his brow, turning to face you. The sooner you're clear of these woods, the better, I think. Hmm. Never mind the woods are a strange machine in the ruins of north. There were these figures clad in black. Nah, I, nobody wants to hear that shit. What's your hurry? I'm only passing through. I mean to reach Guild of Vale. I'll be honest. Hard luck, and I'm sorry to hear it. You should be fine from, from here. There is no missing the veil if you keep to the road. You haven't far to walk. But you'll want to keep clear of this place after that. I, We were just attacked north of here. Me and, my friend of, me and a friend of mine. We came out here to hunt some, hunt some deer. He seems... <sighs> I don't trust him. Came up on a bear instead. Great monstrous thing and pearly. He didn't make it. He shakes his head. I don't know what I'll tell his wife. Well, now I kind of trust him. In any case, this force already cost me a friend. A friend. I'm heading home before it takes anything else. Okay, who are you? What happened to your friend? Where did you find this bear? In a cave, a ways up that way. He turns to point to the northwest. You would, I wouldn't seek it out if I were you. It was a great brute of a beast. Would hate to hear that it took another life. I smell a quest. In any case, this force already cost me a friend. Okay. Um, who are you? My name is Nonson. Born and raised in Guild Vale. Haven't had a spot of luck since. I haven't had a spot of luck since. His face twists. Luckier than Pearly, I suppose. And I'm not gonna... I mean, I'm, yeah, Pearly got killed by the bear. Duh. Okay, so that's a quest. And if I were to kill the bear and bring proof back, it would it would, it would, would do well for him. But I'm gonna wait till I have a party. And let, But let's go ahead and just explore a little bit more. He said that the cave was northwest, so I'm going to avoid that. And, uh... Head over here, back the way we came, because I hadn't looked at the map. Yeah, I haven't looked at everything. Oh, this is actually kind of small, though. I'll just check over here real quick. I'm starting to think there's nothing over there, though. Kind of a small map. You never know. You never know. Oh, look at that. If I hadn't come up here, I wouldn't have blood loss right now. Sorry about that, I forgot that we have a TV on the right portion of the screen, so when I clicked a little too far to the right, it just decides to pull the TV instead. Good thing I had this on game capture, otherwise that would have been really embarrassing. Okay, that's everything up here. I don't like how dark this is. This could be a little bit lighter. Is there the fast... Is it N? No, oh, it's D. Yeah, fast mode. Try not to go too far northwest. Oh, shit. Is that a... Okay, it's just a Zarp. I have a crossbow, so I'll just attack it. Okay. And then... Bear form. He does, like, no damage. I killed the Zarp. What does he have? He has a shield. Is that better than my shield? I don't know. I have a stash, so I might as well just grab everything, right? Why not to go up near the bear? I feel like it's in a dungeon of some type, though, so... Wait. Location discovered. Zora Camp. Is that up here? I feel like this is close to the cave. I'm a little afraid to go up here, because I don't want to aggro the bear. Okay, so, yeah, it's its own little area. Good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, it's just about everything. Oh, Settler's Arrow.
Okay, nice. I feel glad. I feel glad. I also like how we're healed at the end of the battle. Eight hours to the Gilded Veil. Vale. Priests are dedicated to support spellcasters. Though their spells often have limited range, they almost always affect a group and provide myriad bonuses. I could bed down here. All right. Let's check. Oh, no. Cutscene. Holy shit. What the hell just happened? You guys need to fucking stay away. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. A man approaches you, his skin is dull and gray as the desolate village behind him. He scans you with sunken, lifeless eyes, his voice a dry croak. He glances at the gnarled, leafless monstrosity of a tree next to him. The only answer you hear is the buzzing of flies from the tree. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. What's Widewind's legacy? Have you ever sired a hollowborn child? I don't even know what this is, okay? Um. What are you talking about? An infant born without a soul, of course. Lord Radric has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. So how do you know they're born without a soul, though? I shall warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. He steps to the side and inclines his head ever so slightly towards the deformed tree. His lordship's wife is with the child and due any day now. Without his approval... I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue to our interview then, after the bell tolls from Raedric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn just southwest of here. Okay, okay. See, I need to be careful what I say. Hmm... Don't bring up the tree, they're crazy, so they think it's normal. I've been feeling strange ever since the close call at the Beowek. You might think that I'm like... But you see, it's the number one choice. Usually number one choices are... Are okay, they're safe choices. And then you have, like, the more... Hmm... Okay, I'll just do it. Whatever your problem, it sounds okay. like a matter for an animal. However, the only Animancer in the Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Oh, fuck. Herself, After she failed Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. This guy's fucking crazy. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your Audra. Blood, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. Holy My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Okay. Don't hesitate to ask. Oh, uh -huh. he's so nice now. It's important that everyone in Gilbert understands our rules. Okay, fuck it. I forget that you foreigners do not have this curse in your homelands. The Hollowborn have been a scourge upon the Deerwood for, more, for almost 15 years now. He lowers his voice to whisper, children born without souls. He shakes his head, pitiful dumb things that breathe barely, but do not truly live. Some say the hollowborn are a disease. Some say they are a punishment from the gods. He raises his empty hands. In truth, no one knows, but they began spreading after, Saints war, after the Saints' War. And so the name Wadewins, I think it's Widewins, legacy, stuck in honor of that foul, blasphemous pretender. His voice shakes with vitriol. I see. Lord Bright Radric's decrees may seem strict at times, but he has our best interests at heart. I'm going to get the fuck out of this place as quickly as possible. Um. Okay. 
You won't want to mind where you mention that. Trespassing on Anguithan ruins is illegal, not to mention dangerous. Oh, okay. You probably saw someone attempting some new ritual to appease the gods. People will try anything these days, but wrath have mercy, we certainly have. Hmm. If you'd been that close to a Beowick, you wouldn't be standing here. Keep out of... a hollowborn i guess if it's three it seems your arrival is ill-timed hmm. three bells toll only for the death of a radric i fear lord radric's heir is lost or else hollowborn and so lost all the same you should tread carefully circumstances have changed a great deal okay so this guy's crazy but i feel like everyone else is just here because of circumstance what do you mean we come to us at a time of mourning. The legacy has struck at the heart of the of Gilded Vale. Our efforts to redeem ourselves in the eyes of Barath must be redoubled. What happened? I will know more details when the messengers arrive. The vagaries of childbirth, perhaps. But that is not your concern. Does this affect his offer? I can be sure of nothing right now. I advise you to get some rest. The inn, or a stable for all I care. Find me afterwards. I will know more soon enough. Very well. I wasn't about to get confrontational with this guy. All right. So um, I guess we'll have to figure out what happens next uh, in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. If you want to see some more? Subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.